When disaster strikes, every second counts. Every emergency rescue team needs the most sophisticated equipment available to save lives. Be prepared for any eventuality with a TPL 310, a revolutionary new instrument that has been specially developed to locate trapped victims of earthquakes, building collapse, cave-ins, mudslides, and other catastrophes. The TPL 310 is a highly sensitive instrument which can hear noises, cries, knocking, scratching, and other nearly inaudible sounds made by trapped victims as they struggle to be rescued. Search for trapped persons under a collapsed building with the TPL 310 can be done by two methods. One, the seismic. The trapped person will instinctively try to draw the attention of the rescuers by knocking and scratching. The signals pass through the collapsed structure. The TPL's extremely sensitive seismic sensor placed on the debris will detect even the weakest sign of life. Two, the acoustics. The shouts and groans of trapped persons travel through cracks and crevices but are too weak and too far away to reach the ear of the rescuers working on the debris of the collapsed building. The TPL's acoustic sensor lowered into crevices will detect these signals. This part of a rescue team will demonstrate the use of the TPL 310 detecting trapped persons under the debris of a collapsed building. After a site has been allocated to the rescue team, they use this seismic sensor to detect any knocking or scratching made by the trapped person. The cable dispensers are very convenient to use. They hold 15 meters each, which is usually more than enough. The user is connecting the sensor to the TPL. He connects the headphones, adjusts the volume, selects gain, and listens for knocking. Knock now. Another. Okay, take the girl for another place. Knock now. Knock again. Knock again. Wait, uh, I'm hearing something. The user will manipulate the filters to suppress the interfering noise. Now it is much clearer. Now, having surveyed the site with the aid of the seismic sensor, they will try to listen with this acoustic sensor. It is very important to safeguard the sensor with a catch to the cable, so that it will not be lost in one of the crevices. Put it over there. The sensor is lowered into one of the crevices. Hello? Anybody hears me? Hey. Hey. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Anybody here? Uh, oh. 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 Okay, he's here. To locate the trapped person, two seismic sensors are placed on the surface at a distance one from the other, so that both detect the knocking of the trapped person. By comparing the readings on the dual display on the front panel, it can be determined which sensor is closer to the trapped person. By moving the sensors according to a given procedure, the trapped person can be located within four to five meters. Tunneling work starts in order to rescue the trapped person. 
The TPL should be a standard instrument in civil defense and rescue forces and has been extensively tested under genuine field and catastrophe conditions. Used in the successful location and rescue of victims of the 1988 earthquake in Armenia, the TPL 310 heralds a new era in the field of emergency equipment and rescue preparedness.